Hi, everybody. I'm Danny, and I'm here at Fort Bend Children's Discovery Center, where we are celebrating National Engineers Week. Now, for National Engineering Week, our friends over at Floor have a challenge for our friends at home. Because last year, we did the Floor Engineering Challenge. They do this every year. And last year, it was to build as tall of a paper tower as you could build that could support a can at the top pretty cool. This year we have a different challenge and it involves a ball run. So to explain how a ball run works, I'm going to kick it over to Ileana. Thank you, Danny, for that introduction. Now we are here at the Fort Bend Children's Discovery Center. This is our ball run component. So what we are going to do is we're going to take our ball and we have our inclined plane here. What we're going to do is we are going to put our ball at the top of the plane. We are going to let the ball go and it's going to drop to the bottom. But what we're going to do is we are going to build on top of our already won plane to build a ramp. And our objective is to see if we can get the ball to go down, um, taking a longer time to get down the, the ramp, building on, you know, maybe one second, and then see, okay, if we, we hit one second, maybe we can hit two seconds. And we have different size planes, um, and we also have different angles here, so we can change the angle um, of our ramp as well to see how long it'll take to go down the ramp. Now the thing is, for Floors Engineering Challenge, you probably don't actually have a ball run at home that you're able to use, and they have very specific materials that you can use for this challenge, and it is limited to paper and tape. You can use up to 30 pieces of paper, and it has to be like regular paper, construction paper, you can't use like cardstock, and then you can use a full roll of tape, masking tape, painter's tape, uh, scotch tape, but you can't use like duct tape. And what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to make a ball run, just like Ileana just showed us, that will have a ping pong ball, once we let it go, take as long as possible to get to the bottom. Now, I've already uh, made a couple of pieces here, like this is our little plane that we made out of paper. So Ileana, if you hold that end here, and we set it at the top, cool, I think that took like half a second or something, I think we can probably do better. So you can create other ramps. You could try to add in some other types of ways that might slow it down. Maybe you have something that gets in the way of the ball a little bit. Maybe you can do something where you sort of have a little slower start when you move the ball. It's totally up to you how you want to construct and build your ball run. But just remember, you can only use paper and tape. That also means you can't have your friends like holding the paper. It all has to be self-supported. You can't lean it or tape it to the wall. It can be taped to the table, but then from there it has to stand on its own. So you might end up building some paper structures to help it stand, help support it. But remember, the goal is to see how long it can take from the moment you let go of the ball to the moment it touches the ground. Now there are a few other rules and restrictions. To learn all about this challenge and to have your chance to enter it at home, go to sciencebuddies.org and look for the Floor Engineering Challenge for 2022. All entries are for K-12 through students and they have to be turned in by March 20th. So good luck, happy National Engineering Week, and we'll see you all soon. Bye.